Do you struggle with what to do with all that paperwork in your home or office? Are you afraid that it's going to take over everything? Well, you're in luck because today we are going to talk about how to conquer your fear of filing here on Get Organized with Jody. Hi, I'm Jody Granock. I'm a certified professional organizer with over 15 years in the field. And I have to tell you that paperwork is one of my number one requested jobs. I go to a lot of clients' homes and businesses and help people deal with paperwork. And a lot of times there is a fear involved with filing where someone is just completely overwhelmed. And so they don't even know where to start. And so they don't. And then the paperwork continues to pile up. So this is just one of my videos where I talk about paperwork. You can certainly look through at the end of this video. I'll post a couple of links to some other videos that you might find helpful as well. But for this video, we're going to focus on conquering your fear of filing in seven steps. And here we go with step number one. So one of the easiest ways that you can solve a fear of filing. Sometimes it's all about the amount of space that you have available in your existing filing system, whether you're using an accordion file, like in the picture here, whether you're using a file box or whether you're using a traditional file cabinet, a lot of times part of the reason why these um, containers are so full is all about the way that you put the paper away initially. So if you're someone that has been keeping the paperwork folded up either in half or trifolded within the envelope that it came in originally, that's taking up a lot of extra space. So the best thing you can do to instantly create more space in your filing system is to just take everything out of the envelopes and unfold everything. That's going to free up a whole lot of space in your file cabinet just by making that one change. Sound good? Okay. Step two, you want to sort any paperwork that you're keeping into categories. Now you can have a broad category and that broad category, you can use a hanging file folder. And then you can use manila folders, like the ones here in the photo, to further separate the category. So for example, you might have a hanging file folder that's labeled credit cards. But inside that, you would have a few manila folders with the different kinds of credit cards that you have like Visa or Discover, MasterCard, American Express. Three is about credit cards. If you are keeping those receipts, what you do is you can keep the receipts in those respective folders that we just talked about until the monthly statement comes. And then once you justify the statement against your receipts, that's an opportunity to pare down some of the paperwork, which can help with your fear of filing. Now, if you choose to get rid of those receipts, make sure that you shred them if they have any kind of account information rather than throwing them into the trash. But before you do any of that, it's a good idea to check with your financial person or your legal person to make sure you know how long you should keep different types of receipts. Step four is also about the way that we keep our paperwork. And you want to avoid using paper clips as shown in this photo because they just have this nasty habit of grabbing other papers along for the ride. And so sometimes our fear of filing is because we've lost a paper and the paper is not exactly lost, but it kind of clung on for the ride when something was being paper clipped that it has nothing to do with the other papers. So it's much better to use a stapler to keep paperwork together than paper clips. Step five, this is an important one. One of the reasons people have a fear of filing is they feel like they have to be able to do it all in one sitting. And if they can't get it all done at one time, or they're 
you know, they wait because they're looking for that magic time when they suddenly can do it all from start to finish. But paperwork is not typically like that, especially if you're behind on your filing. So instead of thinking about how you're going to find this magic amount of time where you can get it all done, just commit to spending 15 to 20 minutes on it a day, going through new mail, going and working on your old paperwork, just set a timer spend 15 or 20 minutes. If you feel like, wow, that was hard. Okay. Pat yourself on the back and do another 15 minutes another day. But if you're in the zone and you're like, Hey, I can do this for another 10 minutes or maybe a half hour. That's fine. There'll be some days that you do more and some days you do less. But the important thing is that you keep working on it. If you process your new mail each day and you spend a small amount of time filing and shredding old paperwork, those paper piles, whether they're at your home or your office, they will soon become a thing of the past as long as you commit to that small chunk of time. Step six, it's a good idea to have a file specifically for the year's income taxes. A lot of times people's fear of filing has to do with doing their taxes. So it's a good idea to always have a file ready that throughout the year you're putting in paperwork that's relevant to tax time. Donation receipts, medical bills, home improvement receipts, other tax statements. And that way when filing time comes up each year, you won't have so much of a fear of filing your taxes because you've been collecting them all in one place. And the final step to help you conquer your fear of filing is to go through your paperwork once a year. If it's no longer required for record keeping, that's a good time to remove things and shred them for confidentiality. And again, remember to always consult with your accountant, your attorney, your legal financial person to determine how long you should keep things. For me, I find the easiest way to remember to review paperwork once a year is to just go with January 1st. It's the very beginning of a new year. And let's face it, January 1st is not the most exciting day of the year, right? What do we do on January 1st typically? Well, we might sleep in because we stayed up late the night before celebrating the new year, woohoo. Um, maybe we sleep in, maybe we have a little bit of brunch. Uh, maybe we watch a parade or a football game in the afternoon, but there's usually a time later in the day that's kind of dead. And this is a good time to go through your paperwork, you know, put on some music or put on a TV program you like or a podcast and just have at it. So there you go. Seven steps to help you conquer your fear of filing. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to visit organizingmagic.com for more organizing resources, including our free e-newsletter and information about our monthly Zoom webinars, which are also free. And don't forget that new videos drop every Friday. So be in the know and click like and subscribe before you go so you never miss a single video. I'll see you next time.